So in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about how to start using your Deeper Quest bait boat. So first things first, you need to download the Fish Deeper app. Now you need to download this from the App Store or your Google Play Store. Now that you've downloaded the Fish Deeper app and created your account, log yourself in and download the offline maps for your region. This will allow full functionality of your Deeper Quest bait boat where there is no data coverage. Now, whilst you're doing this, why not pop your boat and your remote on charge? It's going to take your Quest up to five hours to fully charge and your remote up to three hours. So get it on charge, get it ready to get out on the bank. Now, once you make it to your chosen venue, the on-site setup couldn't be simpler. Simply unfold the antennas on both the remote and the Quest bait boat. Now inside the bag is a phone and remote holder. Simply attach your phone and your remote to this, or you can purchase separately a tablet holder and a tripod if you prefer to use your tablet for the Fish Deeper app. Now the battery life of the Quest is up to seven hours and this can be fully recharged on the bank with the included USB-C cable inside your toolkit. Now to see just how much, how much life the battery has got left in it, there is a button on top of the battery itself which will reveal some LEDs along the bottom. So you will see exactly how much you have got left on your Quest before you need to top it up. Not only that, you can also check on the Fish Deeper app in the top left hand corner and that will give you a visual indication of just how much battery you have on your boat and your remote. To connect to your Deeper Quest, place it in the water's edge. Turn on your remote controller and wait for all four green LEDs to turn green. Open the Wi-Fi settings on your smartphone and you will see that it displays the Deeper Quest, just like any other network, like your home network, a cafe or somewhere else. Click on the Deeper Quest network and it will connect directly to the boat. There are a few steps that you may want to consider to ensure maximum connectivity. Always make sure that your remote is at least 1.2 meters off the ground level. I would also recommend elevating it as high as possible, even mounting to a tripod. The higher the elevation, the more range you are going to achieve. Always ensure that the deeper quest and the remote antennas are vertical to the water level. It's recommended that you have your remote at the front of the swim, ideally on a tripod. This will ensure that there are no obstructions such as heavy woodland or overhanging trees impacting the signal from your remote to your deeper quest bait boat. It's also worth considering that there may be other nearby radio devices that can also affect the signal to your Deeper Quest. To increase the stability and the connection range of your Deeper Quest, it's recommended that you use the antenna inside your toolkit within the Deeper Quest bag. To start using your Deeper Quest, follow my previous connection steps and then open the Fish Deeper app. Click on the bait boat icon in the top right hand corner to reveal the functions dashboard. So within the functions dashboard, you have a number of options and one of those options is an area scan. You can set an area for the quest to be sent on its way, mapping that body of water in front of you, revealing everything that's going on underneath the surface. Another function is route mapping. So you can set a route for your quest to take via various different waypoints. You can send it on its journey in whichever direction that you want it to follow and it will map that water for you as it goes. Now your deeper quest also has autopilot, which means you can save an unlimited number of spots and you will be able to send your quest to those spots via the Fish Deeper app at the click of just a few buttons. As your quest makes its journey around the lake, you will see that it leaves behind a scan path. Now, if you are using this on multiple occasions or over a longer duration, the map can get quite messy and quite noisy. You also have the ability to turn this off to ensure that you can see full coverage of your maps. So as per the latest app update on the Fish Deeper app, you now have the ability to save sonar marks. So whether you are out scanning live, real time, or reviewing your scans on the scan here, 
history by a single press and hold of the scan at any bottom structure on the lake bed whether it be structural changes depth changes or even fish that you have located these can be easily stored by a single press of the sonar screen this will also save the gps coordinates in which you can use the autopilot function of the boat to send your boat out to next time you are using it the beauty of these sonar marks are that they are saved in your fish deeper app for future use you can edit them rename them add as much information as you need in which you can reuse them time and time again the home point of the deeper quest is automatically set when the boat is placed within the water but through a recent update of the fish deeper app you can now save your own manual home point to simply change this on the map view locate the home icon tap and hold the home icon for around two seconds a new menu will appear at the bottom of the screen with the option of set drag the map to the location of where you want the new home spot to be tap set and the new home point will be stored once saved the home point will be instantly updated on the map that will be where the quest returns each time these steps must be carried out before you attempt any autopilot mission you cannot set the home point when your quest is out completing a mission the deeper quest can accommodate two kilos of bait in the main hoppers now the hoppers can be released either by the remote or via the fish deeper app now there is a third hopper on the back of the deeper quest bait boat and this will accommodate pva products now if you load this and send this out to your spot it will ensure this is watertight and your pva products are not dissolved by the time your boat and rig get to your desired spot similarly to the main hoppers of the boat the rear hopper can also be opened via the remote or via the fish deeper app lastly let's talk about maintenance and taking care of your deeper quest it's recommended that you rinse off any dirt or debris with clean water after every use you can use a towel to wipe down the sides and internal areas of your deeper quest and always ensure that your boat is fully dried out before storing it away for its next use if you're not intending on using your deeper quest for a considerable amount of time then it's worth topping up your deeper quest batteries at least every six months to full do not leave your deeper quest batteries for an extended period of time below 50 percent capacity it is also recommended storing the deeper quest batteries in environments where the temperature does not fall below 16 degrees to ensure the battery's optimum health Always ensure you store your deeper quest in a dry place to ensure there's no moisture or corrosion to the boat. It's also worth once in a while carrying out some propeller maintenance. Inside the deeper quest bag, you will find your toolkit, which will give you the right tools to open up the propeller guards and access this area. You have a number of brushes in there that you can remove any dirt or debris to ensure that this doesn't malfunction at any point in use.